Life cycle of an earthworm. A fascinating journey, earthworms are remarkable creatures that play a vital role in maintaining soil health and fertility. Their life cycle is simple yet intriguing, involving distinct stages from birth to reproduction. Unlike many other organisms, earthworms are hermaphrodites, meaning each worm possesses both male and female reproductive organs. However, they still require a mate to reproduce. In this article, we will explore the unique life cycle of an earthworm, highlighting its growth, reproduction, and ecological importance. 1. Egg Stage The beginning of life The life cycle of an earthworm begins with an egg. Earthworms reproduce sexually, and after mating, they produce a cocoon that contains fertilized eggs. How eggs are for mettering mating, two earthworms exchange sperm. After separation, each worm secretes a mucus ring around its clitellum, a thickened band near the head. As the worm wriggles out of this ring, it picks up eggs and sperm, forming a cocoon. The cocoon hardens into a lemon-shaped structure that protects the developing embryos. Development inside the cocoon depending on environmental conditions moisture, temperature, the eggs incubate for three weeks to five months. Inside the cocoon, multiple embryos may develop, but usually only one to three worms survive and hatch. 2. Hatching the birth of a juvenile earthworm worn conditions are favorable. Tiny juvenile earthworms emerge from the cocoon. Characteristics of juvenile earthworms they are pale and small, often only a few millimeters long. They lack a fully developed clitellum which appears as they mature. They immediately begin feeding on organic matter in the soil. Survival challenge essential worms are vulnerable to predators birds, beetles, centipedes. Dry soil can be deadly, as earthworms rely on moisture for respiration. They grow rapidly by consuming decomposing leaves and microorganisms. 3. Growth and Maturity Developing into an adult As juvenile worms feed, they grow and undergo several molting stages shedding their outer cuticle. Key changes during growth The clitellum becomes visible, indicating sexual maturity usually within 2 to 3 months. Earthworms can grow up to 10 minus 12 inches depending on the species. Their bodies develop more segments, enhancing their burrowing ability. Lifespan of an earthworm Most earthworms live 4 to 8 years in the wild. Some species, like the European nightcrawler, can live longer under ideal conditions. 4. Reproduction The hermaphroditic process earthworms have a unique reproductive system. Although they possess both male and female organs, they still need a partner to reproduce. Mating process Finding a mate Earthworms secrete pheromones to attract partners. Alignment Two worms align ventrally undersides together in opposite directions. Sperm exchange, they exchange sperm, which is stored in special sacs. Separation, after mating, they separate, and each worm produces a cocoon. Cocoon formation and fertilization, the clitellum secretes a mucus ring that slides forward, collecting eggs and stored sperm. The ring slips off the worm's head, sealing into a cocoon where fertilization occurs. Five. Ecological Role Why Earthworms Met Earthworms are essential for soil health and plant growth Benefits of Earthworm Soizeleration Their burrowing creates channels for air and water Nutrient Recycling They break down organic matter, enriching the soil Plant Growth Their castings excrement contain nutrients like nitrogen and phosphorus Threats to earthworms Pesticides and chemicals Harmful substances can kill worms Drought Lack of moisture suffocates them Invasive species, some predatory flatworms feed on earthworms. Conclusion The life cycle of an earthworm is a continuous process of birth, growth, reproduction, and contribution to the ecosystem. From a tiny cocoon to a mature burrower, earthworms play an irreplaceable role in maintaining fertile soil. Their hermaphroditic nature, resilience, and ecological impact make them one of nature's most underrated yet essential creatures. By understanding their life cycle, we gain a deeper appreciation for these humble soil engineers and their contribution to a sustainable environment.